What's going on guys? We're back. Grocery haul for the week here. Kind of like a half of a grocery haul because we're not really including like the produce and stuff. Uh, this is just stuff that we got at Whole Foods and Grocery Outlet. So we got some soy milk. That was two for a buck actually, so that's a pretty good price. Grab a couple of those. Got this uh, organic black bean soup. Should be interesting. These guys I like. These are two new flavors. Sparkling ginger, lemongrass, and then green tea. They just kind of help you relax and go to sleep at night. They also have one that's like malted barley and hops flavored, so it kind of tastes like beer but no alcohol, which is pretty good. Um, got just some organic apples there. Some grits. I uh, got this sunblock. I actually need to start wearing this as of now because temperatures are going up, but vegan as you can see. Good to go. $5.99 for the sunblock, which is pretty good. It's a six ounce thing. Uh, this is actually really cool. These were only 99 cents, by the way. 99 cents and you get 24 little uh, silk dairy-free creamers. So those will be cool to bring to work and kind of maybe share around, get the word out. Um, pretty nice. Got some of this spaghetti here. Now this is the busted in half spaghetti. I got that because I always break mine in half anyway. Um, even when I'm using a bigger pot, I just don't really like it that long. They had these guys for 50 cents, so I just grabbed one for a snack. We got the Daya Creamy Italian. I had that for a buck fifty, which is pretty good. Like you can get the ranch one, and they have other flavors at most stores, but they're like five bucks each. Uh, this one the girlfriend likes French. It's not very good. If you mix French and ranch together, it's French, and I like that. But I don't really mess with the French stuff. That stuff's kind of nasty. Uh, we got some whole jalapenos. These are two massive cans of jalapenos, by the way. They were two for 97 cents. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but it was a good price. Some ketchup. Got some tomatoes, stewed tomatoes. These were a really good price for these six cans. I think it was like three bucks or something like that. Uh, these guys, never had these before, but should be interesting. Camera focus here. Some plant protein nutritional shakes. We got vanilla mint and then mocha. Um, so I'm going to include some pictures of the different stuff like nutrition facts and ingredients. I'll take some pictures and put them in the in the blog post uh, if you guys want to see anything like that. Just some salsa. They were like a good price. I don't remember how much it was, but it was a good price for those. This was interesting. Just some... Oh, camera's kind of shifting around there. Organic chocolate chippy pumpkin bread mix. Says vegan right on there as you can see. Should be interesting. It's more of a holiday thing, so it's probably from last year or something, but we'll see. Some croutons. Vegan croutons are hard to come by where I live. I don't know about where you guys live. Post in the comments down below, can you find vegan croutons? I have to go to Whole Foods to find them, which is about 45 minutes away. Other stores just, they flat out don't have them. We got some oatmeal. Interesting uh, flavor though, green apple fig. Should be good. Uh, some tomato sauces. As you can see there, I got six cans of tomato sauces, four cans of beans there. Um, down here we got some vegan mac. This is the white cheddar style. They also had uh, regular cheddar and like chili mac style, so that should be good. This stuff, scalapetta or scarpetta, some bruschetta. Should be interesting. It actually, I mean, it is vegan. I, I definitely checked it, but uh, has habanero in it, so it might have a little bit of a kick. There it goes. Just trying to focus here. All right. Yeah, it says vegan right on there, though, as you can see. Um, this stuff, banana brittle, amazing. This stuff's amazing. It's made from upcycled bananas, as you can see. Gluten free, vegan. I don't know why it would have gluten in it, but whatever. Um, good stuff. I'll show you. I'll, again, I'll have pictures of the backs of these things on the blog post for you guys to see. Dark chocolate cherries. I'm not a big chocolate person. My camera doesn't want to focus on the vegan thing there. Okay, anyway. Should be good. We'll see. These guys we've had before. Pretty good. Dark chocolate pretzel. Just little vegan protein bars. Uh, some Rock the Casbah Quinoa and Brown Rice. Uh, these guys, we actually got three different flavors. That's Toasted Coconut. 
Dirty Chai, an uh, OG, and if I can get my camera to focus, let's say, there we go, Dairy Free, Soy Free, Vegan. Uh, those were 69 cents each, so pretty interesting stuff. We got some non-GMO corn, again, just a good price on the cans of corn. Vegan Rob's. Boom. A couple new ones, actually. We got the wild rice chips, which are fairly low in fat for a type of snack like this, which is nice. Oil is one of the very last ingredients. I think it's second to last ingredient, so that's good. These ones a little higher in fat, but these are the Moringa Puffs. Go vegan, as you can see. So that'll be cool. All right, and the last thing on the list here, we got this blueberry lemon ice box cake, dairy-free ice cream. It's coconut based, coconut cream based. Should be interesting. All right, guys, that's it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, post a comment, do what you got to do. Uh, follow the blog, follow the YouTube channel, all that stuff. Till next time, guys, take care.